Yeah, so um, there are several tests that patients will uh, need to undergo to be evaluated uh, for both the workup of GERD and then to determine if they would be a, an appropriate candidate for uh, the TIF procedure. The most common procedure that most patients are probably familiar with is what's called an EGD, uh, or uh, where we take a camera scope and run it uh, down, the, down the throat and, and essentially just take pictures and take a look at what, uh, what we see. We can certainly take samples, we can take biopsies to determine if uh, something looks abnormal in the esophagus, as Dr. Melvin was talking about, do they have those changes that are occurring in the lining of their esophagus? Do they have any signs of what's called a hiatal hernia, where part of the stomach is pushing up into the chest? Um, do they have uh, any signs of ulcers in their stomach? Uh, typically, they also do biopsies to evaluate for a, a type of infection that can cause people to have worse re H. pylori. And so that's one test that uh, patients often undergo. And, and again, it's one of the, the more common that patients would be familiar with. And one of the earlier tests, especially when somebody's had long-standing GERD symptoms or some of these um, more severe symptoms where they're having, in the beta's case, she had, she had a really severe cough. Uh, those are symptoms that that sensation that stuff is coming up in the back of your throat. Those are what we would consider kind of more alarming type reflux sim symptoms. Uh, the next test would be to, if you don't see obvious signs of acid reflux on EGD, then you can do an actual test of uh, the esophagus to see if acid is refluxing up in the esophagus. That's a pH test. Uh, what we perform is called a Bravo pH probe. So when we do the EGD, um, if we need to, we can place a probe into the esophagus that will measure how much acid is refluxing up over the course of several days. And that can give us an, an actual quantifiable number of how many times that's occurring, how severe the reflux is, uh, things of that nature. Sure. Then uh, the next set of tests would be to determine, as we were talking about, if they're an appropriate candidate for a TIF. And so certainly one of the things would be to know, do they have a hiatal hernia, which can be evaluated with the EGD. There's also x-ray tests that can be done. So um, what's commonly called a swallow test where a patient drinks x-ray contrast and we look how it goes down. Does it go down appropriately? Is the anatomy uh, normal? Um, and then finally, we also want to know how does the esophagus function? When we do the TIF or any type of reflux procedure, we're recreating a barrier. We want to make sure that their esophagus is going to be able to kind of move food past that barrier. So you just heard Beta talk about bread. Well, after the TIF right now, things are still kind of swollen and a little snug. And so Bread's kind of soft, and it's a little bit harder for things to move down your esophagus when we've created that barrier. And so we want to make sure that long term, I fully expect that she's going to have no problem. She's in the healing phase still, but long term, I expect that she'll be able to go back to being normal because we did those tests in, in preparation for surgery.